certified most accurate since 2004. Well, once we cleared out that fog early this morning, it was an absolutely beautiful day. Just had a couple hit or miss showers and thunderstorms out there, mainly south of the lake shore this afternoon. And then once we lost that daylight, everything started to quiet down for us. And that's going to be the trend for us as we head into the overnight. It's the next big thing we're tracking a little bit of patchy fog by early tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind, especially if you do have to be out and about really early, say if you're headed downtown uh, into Cleveland for the half marathon or the marathon races uh, tomorrow morning. Morning, but we will transition very quickly. Once that temperature starts to warm up, it's going to mix out that fog and we're going to be eyeing another day back closer to the lower 80s. So do keep that in mind, especially if you are somebody that's going to be running or maybe you're supporting somebody that's running. It is going to get a little warmer out there as we go through the afternoon. Live look outside from our first alert camera. This is actually our tower camera out in Parma looking out over downtown. Beautiful scene this evening. Not a whole lot in the way of fog settling in just yet. We really haven't noticed visibilities dropping too much, so it may take a little bit of time for us to really see bigger visibility impacts as we head into early tomorrow. But where we will likely see more of that fog becoming a bit of an issue, it's areas closer to the lakeshore. And any spot that picked up some of that rain earlier today, and then it does look like areas east may have another opportunity of seeing some of that patchier fog as we wake up early tomorrow morning. But speaking of wake up temperatures, this is where we're going to be first thing. Most of us mid to upper 50s across the board. It's going to feel pretty nice to get your day started, but don't let that fool you. Once we really get that sunshine up and working, it is going to be a warmer day. So heat is something we'll have to watch for. As we go through tomorrow morning, we'll call it fair six to seven o'clock in the morning just because we are going to be tracking just a little bit of that fog, but things should mix out pretty quickly. It gives us a pretty good forecast as we go through the rest of the day. So maybe if you're not running tomorrow, but you need to get outside and do some of that yard work, this is what your forecast is trending towards. Mid morning temperatures, low 70s, lunchtime, mid and upper 70s, and then eventually breaking into the 80s and during the afternoon. But please make sure you're wearing some of that sunscreen. That UV index is likely going to be exceeding eight, which means it's very high and it means it will not take long for you to get a sunburn uh, under those types of conditions. First alert Doppler, you see this cold front out to our west. It's generating just a couple spotty showers, a couple thunderstorms out across parts of Wisconsin. That's headed our direction as we go through tomorrow. And for the most part, it's not really going to bring us a whole lot of changes to our forecast. You'll notice as we go through the morning, once we clear out the clouds, it's pretty much just abundant sunshine to get us through a good majority of your Sunday. But as that front closes in and we'll have to watch this as we go through the afternoon, it may become a little bit more of a focus to get a couple showers, maybe even an isolated rumble of thunder for our far western communities. This will not you know, highlighting the fact that this is going to be necessarily a soggy part of the day, but say you're maybe going out to the islands, Sandusky, Norwalk, even Mansfield points west. This is where you may run into one of those isolated showers. Otherwise, for the rest of us may just provide us a couple high clouds as we wrap up your day tomorrow and then things are transitioning towards a little bit of a quieter pattern. Now, once we get past the weekend, things do start to change. Not only is temperature starting to warm up, but you're also going to notice that humidity really climbing and really by Tuesday, we're going to be well into that humid category. Dew points into the mid and upper 60s. That's some pretty soupy air for us. So don't be so each and every afternoon. We don't anticipate this to be washout kinds of scenarios, but it is something that may disrupt your plans during the afternoon, at least briefly. Then we get into Wednesday. Cold front starts to roll in. It'll knock those temperatures from the 80s back into the 70s and just leave us with a couple spot showers possible south on Thursday. And then we finally start to clear things out by Friday before yes, looking ahead towards Memorial Day weekend. There may be a couple more opportunities for us to see some rain as we look ahead towards Monday.